Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well today. I wanna to share a little tip today on taking a primitive object and leaving it primitive so you don't make it editable, but you're still able to make polygon selections and model it and move things around. Um, so if you have a primitive object, you don't have access to any of the faces or the points or anything like that. Well, if you troll down your deformers menu, there's this one called corrections deformer, which is going to unlock some superpowers for you. If you drop that into the sphere, all of a sudden you can see it unlock the points mode of that sphere, which is really cool. So you have access to all these different modes now, but if you go back to your sphere, you can still change the segments and the radius and your type and everything's completely primitive. So if we wanted to make a little selection here, let's go to our selection tool and select some faces and we'll push those guys into the sphere, kind of position that where we want it, something like that. And then we can go back to our sphere and now we can add segments. We can change it to icosahedron. We can do whatever we want and it's completely primitive still, which is really cool. Uh, and the nice thing about the corrections deformer is that it has a strength slider. So if we animate the strength slider, you can see that this is basically like a pose morph. So you can animate this on and off, which is pretty cool. And of course, since this is a deformer, we also have the fall off tab. So if you wanted to add fall off and kind of have this uh, animation uh, wipe on, you can do that very easily. Um, so that is the uh, corrections deformer, which is a really handy one. Um, because I love keeping things primitive if possible. Hope that you guys uh, learned something new and you'll be able to find a use for this. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.